Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comments, let me know your thoughts on the case. The notorious Ian Hogan graces with his presence on the 13th of May of 1992 and was born in Limerick Hospital. From the moment that he left the womb, Ian knew he was destined to be a showman. In all seriousness, Ian Hogan built himself a reputation as being a gang enforcer and one of the only men who were brazen, strong and scary enough to extort well-known dealers without the need of a G-U-N. His reputation preceded him, and because the birth name Ian Hogan did not sound strong enough, Irish enough, community traveller enough, Ian needed to adopt a name worthy of his persona, and then he came up with Ian Flannery. It coincided with the Hardman persona. Now equipped with a new name, worthy of a traveller, he then needed to surround himself with like-minded people, people that already had a reputation, and people that he could attach himself to. Now that's when Ian Flannery forged connections with the likes of Kane Baker, the Warden of the North, and also Decker Heggie. Now Ian described his childhood as having a key to the Madden pub where he was responsible for waking up the alcoholic pub owner, Owen, and getting the owner breakfast that consisted of a box of cornflakes and also brandy and the Racing Post newspaper. In multiple podcasts, Ian says he moved from Limerick to the UK at the age of 18. As soon as he touched down in the West Midlands, he spent time in and out of Birmingham prisons. During this time in HMP, Ian began to be known as King Irish. He says that he was the only person that spoke with an Irish accent, was a traveller and had a mouth full of gold. There was no one like him at the time. He went on to describe how he began to run around Birmingham with gangsters. He swapped Lonsdales for Versace, he swapped Timexes for Rolexes, and Renault Clios for exotic cars like Range Rovers and Jaguars. Ian then moved to London. Now Ian Flannery was able to establish himself firmly in the travel community by adopting a gruff accent and also offering out known figures in the travel community out for scraps, for example, Leighton Bradley. Now pride is such a fickle thing. Video footage circulating around showed Ian Flannery on the losing end of the battle with Leighton Bradley. The end result was red in between his gold teeth, a bit dazed and disorientated. Still, Ian was able to smile for the camera. That's a true performer. And the aftermath of the scrap was Ian was able to weave a story. There's mixed versions as to what happened. But what's accepted is Ian had not covered himself at all times. Leighton snuck a first strike and then squared up to Ian before landing a second and that's when it was stopped. Now Ian Flannery is, according to people who know him, a fantasist and a pathological figure. He has an ego and a persona that's likened to Ronnie Pickering. In his own mind, he's the biggest, baddest man walking around, likened to Mike Tyson. He took himself, an average guy, and turned himself into the villain capable of having the biggest known gangsters in Merseyside, London, Birmingham and Ireland running scared. And this was thanks to the internet and, of course, his confidence in having the gift of the gab. Now, Ian Flannery says that he was making so much money that he got tired of the mundane purchases like Rolexes, designer clothes and cars that he decided to have his real teeth taken out and then have the gold teeth screwed in. He said he was tired of HMRC also trying to take his money, so he put as much as it, his wealth, that it could fit into his face. He says that he invested in gold so that the authorities could not take his wealth away from him. Ian Flannery, King Irish, went on to KRN TV and sat there with a straight face and says that he was renowned for approaching dealers who had businesses who were washing dirty money. He went to the dealers directly and told them that he was getting paid out of this business or the business would cease to operate. It was as simple as that. If a dealer says no, and according to King Irish, they were met with serious force. One person had their car burnt out and another person had their door off the hinges with a scorpion. King Irish then went on to say that during the court proceedings, one of the dealers stood up and says to the judge, Your Honour, I have stopped selling gear because of the torment Ian Flannery has brought to my life. He says that with a straight face. Now King Irish also established and embellished other stories. For example, how he was shot nine times. However, Kane Barker revealed that King Irish was actually fell off a motorbike during that incident and he was never shot and never an enforcer and never extorted anyone. Now, it's one thing to have other travellers smear each other's name and take away their manhood. It's part and parcel of whatever they're trying to accomplish. 
but King Irish's downfall was women. He says that he had a ton of kids with different women that spanned countries and continents. Women then began to come forward and tell their own personal experience with ladies, man King Irish. Now Ian Flannery had been in a relationship with a woman and in February of 2021 the two had a major disagreement. The victim attempted to leave Ian's home, however Ian pounced on her, using his hands to drag her to the ground, pinning her before using his fists on her. She was then moved from room to room by her hair. Now Ian Flannery then told his partner that she could not leave, but sleep in one of the bedrooms. However, Ian did the unthinkable, not consented. The keys were taken along with her phone and the next day she was allowed to leave. The brave woman then reported the incident to the police. In a five month period this happened more than twice and Ian Fanny was arrested on the 1st of March 2021 and then remanded in custody. Of course he denied all allegations and charges put to him. However he was jailed for 13 years in connection to what he put his ex-girlfriend through and this was Ian Flannery's downfall. He did not allow the truth to get in the way of a good story. Let me know your guys' opinion. Stay safe. Safe.